Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about formative assessment 2 2023-24 mathematics of class 8. Maximum marks 20 times 45 minutes. So in the year 2023-24, FA2 was conducted only for 20 marks. But this year, the FA2 exam will be conducted for 35 marks. So here name of the student, roll number, you can write it. Solve the following problems. Here four questions of one marks are given. You will get four marks for all the correct answers. A circle graph is called a pie graph or pie chart. Pie chart or pie graph. The value of root 169 is plus 13 or minus 13. Probability of an event is probability of an event is defined as the total number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. Cube root of 8000 for three zeros in the number in its cube root you will get one zero and the cube root of 8 is 2. So the answer is very simple it is 20. Solve the following problems. The ratio of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram is 5 is to 4. Find each of the angles of the parallelogram. Find each of the angles of the parallelogram. So in a parallelogram, two adjacent angles are given in the ratio of 5 is to 4. The sum of two adjacent angles in a parallelogram is 180. And the sum of this ratio is 5 plus 4, 9. So divide 180 by 9 180 and the angle relating to 5 is 5 by total of the ratio 9 so by 9 you can cancel 180 20 times 20 into 5 is 100 so one angle is 100 the other angle is same 180 into 4 by 9 by 9 you can cancel it 20 times 20 into 4 is 80 when one angle is 800 the other adjacent angle is 80 next angle is 100 and next angle is 80 so the four angles are 100 80 100 80 for a parallelogram is 1188 a perfect cube? If not, by which smallest natural number should 1188 be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube? So 1188 you can divide by 2. It is divisible by 2. So 5 times you can divide it. Still 1 is the remainder 18. 5 nines are 18. 5 fours are Next, again by 2 you can divide it. 2 2s are 4, 19, 2 9s are 18, 2 7s are 47. This is divisible by 3, you can divide by 3. 3 9s are 27, 3 9s are 27. Again divisible by 3, divide by 3, you get 33. Again divide by 3. 11 times so if we see this here we have 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 11 we have in order to make it a perfect cube by which number you have to divide that is given by which number we have to divide means here the cube is only for 3's we got it. 3 into 3 into 3. 3 cube is present. Remaining 2's and 11, they are not present as cubes. So divide by the total number of 2's present and total number of 11's present. Then you can divide by 2 into 2 into 11. That means you are dividing by 4 into 11. That is 44. So if this number 1188 is divided by 44 then 
it becomes a perfect cube and the cube is also 3 into 3 into 3 27 find the smallest square number which is divisible by each of the following numbers first of all which least number that is divisible by 6 9 15 that you can calculate it it is the lcm of 6 9 15 so calculate 6 9 15 by 3 all the three numbers are divisible so divide by 3 3 2 is a 3 3 is a 3 5 is a 15 so we can see that the lcm here obtained is 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 that means this number which is 9 into 2 18 5 is a 90 90 is the LCM of 6915. If the question is which smallest number is divisible by 6915, then the question answer is 90. But here it is asked that which smallest square number is divisible by this. That means which smallest square number is divisible by 90 that you have to write it. So in order to write the answer, the answer is 3 is already present as 3 square. In order to make 2 square, you have to multiply by 2. No multiplication by 3. And one more 5, you have to multiply it. That means on the whole, we have multiplied by a 2 and a 5. That means by 10, we have multiplied it. So by which number we have to multiply means by 10, we have to multiply. And what is the number? Here, the number is required. Find the smallest number. Here the number is 4 into 25, 100 into 9, 900. So 900 is the smallest square number, perfect square, which is divisible by 6, 9 and 15. <coughs> okay, the number of students in a hostel speaking different languages fluently is given below. Telugu 40, Hindi 21, English 11. The total of all this is 72. We can very clearly calculate it. So then draw a circle graph or pi graph that is given. In order to draw the circle graph, first of all, what should be the angle that we get? You have to write that one. So angle table only I am writing. X say. So this is given by 40 into the angle is 360 divided by 72. 360 divided by 72 if we take it it is 5 times. So multiply 5 with 40 we get 200. In the same way this value is fixed for all these entries 5 just multiply by 5 for 21. This is 105 degrees. For 11, you can multiply by 5. This gives 55 degrees. The total of all these angles should be 360 degrees. 200 plus 105. 305 plus 55. 360. Okay, we got it. So now we have to draw a circle graph or pi graph. So for this, let this be one radius. Let me call it O A. So at O, you can find the angle 200, which is more than 180 degrees. So here, this way you get it. This is 200 degrees. And it is related to Telugu. Next after that, for this 21, the corresponding angle is this 105. From this, you have to see 105 degrees. So, in this way, you get it 105 degrees here. This is for Hindi. And the remaining automatically, you will get 55 degrees. This is for English. If you do this much, you get full marks. So I explained why square is a quadrilateral. The answer is square has four sides 
so it is a quadrilateral. Next, explain how a square is a parallelogram. In a square, opposite sides are parallel, that is why a square is also a parallelogram. Explain why a square is a rhombus. In a rhombus, all the four sides are equal, and in a square, also all the four sides are equal, so a square is a rhombus also. And explain how a square is a rectangle. In a rectangle, opposite sides are equal and the angle between any two sides is 90 degrees. In a square also opposite sides are equal. The angle between any two sides is 90. Even still, some more properties we can verify. In a quadrilateral, the sum of all the four angles is 360. In a square also each angle is 90, that is 360. In a parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. In a square also, the diagonals bisect each other. In a rhombus, the diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly. In a square also, diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly. In a rectangle, squares, uh, in a rectangle, diagonals are equal. In a square also, diagonals are equal. So, these are the few properties you have to write. Then you get full marks. So, clearly, all the questions with answers are explained here if you like my video please subscribe to my channel write a comment like it and share it thank you for watching